Alright, in this video I'm going to show you the rules of adding and subtracting sig fig rules uh, with sig fig rules. Now here, uh, I'm just going to do addition because uh, I just that's what I prefer to do, but this rule applies for subtraction as well. So anyway, um, one thing to remember in this is in the beginning you just do all the math like you normally would. Okay, add this column up, that's 6. Add this column up, that's 9. And then that's, you know, three so that's twelve so we write down a two carry your one okay that's four that's five that's eight and that's ten write down a zero keep your decimal lined up carry the one so that's going to be three four five six seven then two and one is three and one so at first it's just ordinary math now the sig, fig, the sig fig rules with addition and subtraction is basically this. We don't care how many numbers you add up in the front here and how many numbers you keep in the front. That's not a big deal. What matters, though, is the number that you keep behind the decimal. Okay, here's our decimals. Got them all lined up nice and neat. Now, the least amount of numbers behind the decimal is 2. So we're going to keep the first two numbers behind our decimal. Now, if there would have been 18 numbers in the front here, we'd keep all 18. But we concentrate on the last amount behind the decimal, and the least amount's two. Look to the right. Can you round that? Sure enough, you can. So that's going to be 137.03. Okay, and that will be our final answer. Okay, now, the only rules that, uh, that are weird is when you have fives. Okay, let's say you had uh, 137.02, uh, five. Okay, let's say we had this number instead. Now the five is kind of different. Okay, we know we want to keep this right here, but we need to know if we need to round this two up. Well, here's a rule on the fives. Okay, if this is a five and it's even, it stays even. Now in the regular math class, we would have added uh, that made it a 3, but we're going to keep it a 2 because even stays even. Even stays even if the number to the right is a 5. Now if you'd had this, if you would have had uh, 137.01 and then the 5 right there, and you were going to try to keep just these numbers, and you look to the right, that would cause that number to go up to the next even. We don't like odd when the number to the right is a 5. So, if it's odd, you try to make it even. If it's even, you leave it even. Okay, that's the only r rule that's weird. Now, if it had been like this, the 6 and all that, 7, 8, 9, 10, you automatically round up. It's just these 5 rules. Now, the rule of 5 is weird. Rule of 5. Rule of 5 for rounding. Okay, it's weird. Just get used to it. Practice it. This is the only time I know this happens is in uh, chemistry and physics and stuff. But anyway, if the number to the right is a five, then you round it up if it's odd to even. But if it's even, leave it alone. It's cool. Okay. Anyway, that's the rules for uh, you know adding and subtracting. Now this five rule will also apply multiplication too. I'm gonna show you multiplication in the next video.